Hello, I didn't see you there. I was too busy readjusting my skeleton after spending all day cramped up a chimney. Yeah, it's this time of year when the snow's falling and the thick yellow smog's rolling up the Thames and straight into my lungs. I like to think about how to have a great Christmas. So here's some tips from me, a Victorian urchin, to you on how to have a great Christmas during times of austerity. <coughs> Can't afford the heating bills this year? Not to worry. All you need is a nice Christmas tree. Just pop it in the middle of your living room and then put real lit candles on it and watch the whole house go up in flames. Mmm, toasty. Struggling to afford Christmas cards? Make your own. All you need is a dead mouse. Just put it in a piece of paper and send it to your friends. What a lovely surprise. It's at this time of year I like to peer longingly through the window of rich people's houses and watch them eating all that delicious Christmas food like pickled oysters, mock turtle soup, real turtle soup and mince pies with actual mince in them. Mmm, I can only dream. Toys can cost a lot of money, so why not avoid expensive Christmas presents by simply killing a wren, putting it on a stick giving it to your kids so they can parade it round the neighbours' houses asking for money. There's nothing more heartwarming or Victorian. Going to the theatre costs a lot of money, so for some free entertainment, you could always wait until you're so hungry you start hallucinating ghosts who come round your house telling you you need to change your ways and you've only got 24 hours to do it. And of course, if you are lucky enough to have a job, you might not even have to worry about spending money on Christmas because your boss might make you go to work on Christmas Day anyway. It's not Sunday after all, he's not made of money. So Merry Christmas from me, a Victorian urchin, and my friend, this little pine cone. Say hello, pine cone. Yeah. I might nibble him later for sustenance. <laughs>